Good morning, welcome to Cafe Portugal. I smell coffee. I smell the sea. Today is a day of relaxing. So this is where we slept last night. Right next to the sea. Obviously without all these people and cars. It's a very popular beach in Portugal. Gets absolutely rammed in July and August, but no, we slept here, no problems, nice and quiet, totally free. Like I said, this is, this is the sort of thing you can do if you're willing to do it. You save money, you have a laugh with your wife. I mean, why are you married to people? Why are you married to someone if you can't crap and piss in front of them? So we're just gonna have a nice uh, coffee again. Got a little uh, morning sandwich and we're off. Get away from these lot. One thing we've noticed about Portugal is it is very friendly to camper vans, cars, vans, tents. So you can you sleep it. anywhere you want. You don't get your balls busted by the police. So it's a very friendly place to come if you just want to be a nomad. Uh, the, uh, the thing that I've noticed is you have to be prepared as in it has to be planned you have to have enough water you have to know how to wash yourself all things that we can do um, you've got to have your own uh, cleanliness routine but the thing is uh, if, if you take that out of the equation this is the perfect place to uh, live in a van or live in a camper van or a car or a tent because everything's almost free. Uh, they totally traveler friendly as in uh, I think it's because they're trying to boost their tourism uh, and so you know they try. It's a very cheap country isn't it? Oh absolutely very very, very cheap. cheap. It's great yeah. I love Portugal and now we're at the south westerly tip of Portugal and uh, there's a lighthouse here and I'm sure the views are going to be great so let's go and check that out Marina. Let's roll.
great views, just a little bit too touristy for me and Marina. Yeah, yeah we are snobs. But we like to be the hermits. On our own, really. I mean, we're hermits at the end of the day. And these places do attract coach loads. Now, one of the benefits of having a fully kitted out camper car, thank you, large vehicle, um, is that we're always ready when it comes to the basics, as in eating, peeing, washing, peeing pooing, peeing, washing, sleeping. And now it's food time, guys. This is budget food time. So we're going to prepare a nice little salad and then we're going to head up the north along the west coast. So we're parking here for tonight and um, we are attempting for the first time an outdoor shower making the best possible use of what we've got with the limited space so currently I'm warming up some water for us because we don't want a cold shower Marina's prepared a kind of shower curtain utilizing two of our trippy hippie blankets. And the other one, while, while I'm washing or while you're washing, the other one keeps the hood down like this. Yeah. So you so can't see nobody our. Nobody can see our bodies. Bodies. But basically, the warm water will go in there. Yeah. Excuse me. Warm water will go in here, a weed sprayer, we pump, we stand in the bucket and we spray ourselves with warm soapy water. Let's see if we can pull this one off. Are you ready? Okay, so it's a success because Marina is currently naked behind this sheet. She's pumping the weed sprayer, which is full of soapy water. She's stood in the bucket. And uh, she's complaining because it's too hot. And she's already whinging because it's too warm. But, you know, a nice hot shower in a Renault Scenic, no problems. Yes, it's not five star hotel, but we can't afford five star hotel. How do you think we managed to drive around Europe? Because we don't stop at five star hotels. We shower in a bucket, protected by hippie sheets. It can be done. The question is, are you a snob? Are you too snobby to do stuff like this? Well, if you are, 
stick to your two weeks all inclusive if you're not snobby you do this you get down to nature to basics this is how we live how did you think we do it have you washed your boobs marina i'm doing it now <laughs> Um, no, it's just I'm a man and that's what we think of. So there you go. How to shower in a car utilising simple everyday items. Marina's just uh, treating herself to a little foot bath as well. She's done her hair. I've done my complete body too. It's been a success. And as a treat, I'm having another coffee because outdoor life. Oh, goodness, it's so good. Look. It's the future, guys. It's the future. Especially when the zombie apocalypse comes. So get used to living like it like this because it's going to happen one day. All your home comforts gone. Trust me. Ciao.